Before I get into today's video, let me show you what I found yesterday. I found it sitting on the top of a garbage can. This guy, he was cleaning out his garage and he set it right on top of the can a few minutes before I got there. Oh, never mind. Let me just show you what I got. Isn't it cool? It's the front of a 1980s Harley Davidson motorcycle. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it, but I guarantee it will be cool. And now, on to today's regularly scheduled video. There are two kinds of people in this world. Either you're a keeper or you're a tosser. You keep everything or you toss everything. And I'll give you a quick second to figure out which one I am. Time's up. You guessed it, I'm a keeper. Now this project begins 15 years ago when I made two garden beds right here on this spot. I thought it was a good idea at the time to make the garden beds using Trex wood. Now Trex is a composite or a manufactured board. It's kind of like a plasticized wood. The problem with these garden beds was that the wood started to bend. Even with extra supports, I couldn't stop the waviness. After about, I don't know, maybe seven to 10 years, I decided to get rid of the garden beds. However, for some reason, I kept all the wood. Let me show you. Now fast forward 15 years to last week when I found this picture. I really like this design and I thought it'd be fun to try and duplicate it. Now the wood used in that picture reminded me of those old Trex boards that I've been saving for five years. This is going to be a real challenge to try to duplicate that piece of furniture with these old garbage boards that I've been saving for years. I'm up for the challenge. Let's give it a try. The challenge for this project is to find enough good wood that's not bent or split. Fortunately, this Trex product cuts as easy as wood using a standard table saw blade. I made myself a basic drawing with some general dimensions that I want to use. Now that I've got an idea how many pieces I'm going to need, I'll rip the boards to width. I experimented with a few ways to clean this textured wood. The quickest way that I found was to use a wire wheel on a bench grinder. Sandpaper also works, which I'm going to use for sanding the edges of the wood. The first parts I need to assemble are the upper and lower shelf supports. To assemble those, I'm going to use the original Trex screws that I've saved from my garden beds. It is important to drill pilot holes or this wood is going to split. With the two frames assembled and the four legs cut, I want to round the edges of the legs. And to do this, I'm going to use a router with a small curved bit. With the first shelf mounted to the four legs, I add the top shelf support. Somehow I managed to find enough straight wood to use for the shelf slats. After cleaning and routing the edges, I do a test fit before screwing all the pieces together. To get this to look like the original, I need to figure out a way to bend the wood. To achieve this, I cut two wood templates, one for the front and another for the sides. I clamp the Trex strip at the top of my template. Now using a heat gun and applying enough heat so that it warms up the plastic wood but doesn't burn it. And then after about 30 to 60 seconds, it becomes softer and you can bend it around the wood template.
Well, I think it came out great after a pile of scrap wood and sawdust. And can you even call it sawdust? It's kind of like plasti dust. Anyway, I think it came out great. It's twice as heavy as a normal piece of furniture, so it can really withstand brutal weather and heavy winds. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please share my YouTube channel with a friend, post it on Facebook, or write a letter. There's a throwback. Until next time, I'll meet you in the alley.